Hey everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing another full case break of today's brand new release, 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box break number four. Pick your team number four. So big thanks to these folks right here. Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team four. There's everyone right there. Ashley's the one who took your Dodgers, Gabriel. That's what she did. Uh, Robert Rincon, you got last spot mojo, and we'll do the transcendent giveaway at the end. We've given away a lot of spots of transcendent tonight, so thanks very much, everyone. Transcendent baseball should be great. All right, so let's pop this open. This new release night's been great. So good luck, everybody. Got everything I need right here next to me. All right, here we go. Good luck. So this is pick your team number four. We flew through these breaks today. I think I barely had time to tweet anything out, which is always the sign of a busy day. And I think we've been pretty much, we've been pretty much nonstop breaking today, which has been awesome. So thank you very much, everyone. It's a great new release night. We've got a lot of work done. And we'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern for more work tomorrow. I see an order for 10 buck break. So I think after this, our last break of the night, after this will be uh, Bowman High Tech Baseball from 10buckbreaks.com. And then we'll call it a night. I still have a lot of work to do after this. So that'll be good. We'll wrap up, get everything printed out. You receive hits in the mail, folks. They're all uh, they're all in team bags, these plastic bags, team bags. And labeled on those team bags is your name, the break, and the team you had. Those are the labels I'm usually printing out. So that is what helps keep track of things and helps you keep track of whatever break that you're receiving. If you're in like five different Bowman's best breaks. Right, you want to know, oh, was that one from break, which which break number was that? One, two, three, four, five? So those are the labels I print when I'm talking about printing labels. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. These mirror image cards will, will randomize left or right, by the way. There's a one per case atomic refractor. That'll be randomized separately, and obviously numbered parallels will be randomized separately. Alex Verdugo on card auto for Ashley and the Dodgers. Verdugo might have a good shot at being the next Dodger Rookie of the Year. There we go. More even in the case there. Four autographs per master box, two per mini. Is that the first... Oh no! I was gonna say I thought that was a B. I don't think I don't think there's ever any Bs. I think there. I think those grades on those inserts are always gonna be A or A minus. Mmm, burgers. Jake Burger. That'll go to the White Sox. TJ with the White Sox. Yeah, do it, Gabriel. Why not? You're already gonna buy into Bowman's Best. May as well buy two. There's the one per case, so that'll be randomized separately. Might as well get two. See, we might accidentally stumble into a transcendent spot. And that's a guaranteed hit, too. So we'll randomize that after the break. Nice Aaron Judge. Tanner Hawk for the Red Sox. Oh, the prospect the Marlins got for Stan or C minus. They wouldn't be in, even in this set, Gabe. They wouldn't put them in this set. Wow, nice insert auto. 39 out of 150, Alex Bregman. On card auto for the Astros, Stephen Harris. That is nice.
best cuts. There you go, nice start. Nice insert auto. what's going to happen with it'll be it'll be interesting you know what sucks about those prospects Gabe and everyone about the Marlins prospects that went to Miami for Stanton is that they're always going to have that hanging over their heads man I got traded for Stanton you know that and if you if you're a if you're a lesser prospect you know that that's a that's kind of some tough pressure there, and even if they, even if they're even if they're super confident, they don't feel pressure. You know the media and the fans, the community will 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 apply that pressure on them. You know they'll be like, "Well, we got you for Stanton. What are you gonna do?" There'll be ESPN reports about if any of those prospects even make it to the majors. You know, I'm sure they'll tally their stats, and they'll be like. They'll tally the stats and they'll be like, yeah, these three players, you know, the three three or four prospects that the Yankees sent are not accounting for as much as, you know, the same amount of war that Aaron Judge is providing for the Yankees right now. Aaron Judge will have like a 6.0 war and those players may combine to have three <laughs> and, and if they're all playing at the same time. And then, of course, that makes... Jeter and the rest look even worse. Especially if they're trying to convince people, hey, give these guys a chance. Give these kids a chance. All right, D.L. Hall is your first autograph out of here. Disabled List Hall. Hopefully he will not be on the Disabled List Hall of Fame. Oh. <laughs> Orioles, Jesse Ray, I'm losing it. Losing it already. You come for the break, stay for the jokes. Something like that. Keston Hiuda, this is a good one. 90 out of 250 for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Nino. Oh, nice. This mirror image will be randomized separately between the Yankees and the Marlins. Speaking of which, did you see this game? It's, it's as if Topps, I don't know. I feel like Topps orchestrated this. I call conspiracy on this. Anyway, that'll be a separate randomizer for the Marlins. That's Alan Murdoch and the Yankees, Mary Lou. I think someone was saying earlier that card will go for like 10 or like the base edition of that card will go for like 10 or 15 bucks. Bellinger and Lewis Brinson for the Brew Crew. Nice Brewers. Nino, another one. Judge is a stand clone. Well, either way, Tops figured it out, dude. Um, didn't I don't remember that. The pro the prospects they said had no chance ended up being Derek Lowe and Jason Veritek. That's not a bad deal. There's Austin Beck, A Beck. That goes to D Mac. And the athletics. Ben Intendi. There's Willie Adams. And Austin Beck again for D Mac. Looks like you're starting your Austin Beck PC, whether you like it or not. Corey Seager. Hey Gabe, what do you what do you think? Does A Kershaw definitely opts out, right? I already looked through these. Kershaw definitely opts out, right? Do the Dodgers resign him? They have the cap now. I mean they could they could they could technically I feel like 
I feel like they could technically sign Harper and Kershaw and pay everyone in arbitration for like the next three or four years and uh, still maintain all the like, like just be just a hair under at like luxury tax level. So you doubt he opts out, but if he does, yes, the Dodgers resign. Okay. See, that's actually, I don't think he'll opt out either. I feel like he's, but a lot of people, I guess my mistake is going on, is going on like Dodgers message boards and stuff on like Reddit and, and everyone's like, no, dude, Kershaw's definitely opting out. I don't know if I believe that. Kershaw always seems to be uncomfortable about money in the first place. You know, if you ever read the book, uh, The Best Team Money Can Buy by Molly Knight, about the Dodgers in the McCourt era, which is fantastic. Um, they, uh, she talks about how she was with Kershaw, the author. She was with Kershaw when um, he got the official call, you know? Gets, he got the official call and said, hey, that con that big contract he signed a few, uh, a few years back, deal's done. You know, now you're now you're a, you know, $290 million player or whatever he got. And his reaction after that was back to the interview, back to business. I mean, he didn't, it wasn't really a big deal at all to him. I think he doesn't like talking about contracts and he doesn't like dealing with all that. So I don't know if he opts out, especially if he still has back troubles, which is kind of scary too. Well, oh, I don't know if he'll take less money. I don't think he'll opt out, though. Nice. Keston Hiuda. It's a Southern California boy right here. Went to UC Irvine, even. Thirty out of ninety nine, that's a big one. Brew crew, Nino. Yeah, the Dodgers do have a great nucleus to compete for years. I think the Dodgers, after getting under the luxury tax, I think they're really gonna go for uh, Bryce Harper. I think they really are. Fifty three out of one fifty. Brent Honeywell for the Tampa Bay Rays, Robert Rincon. And if like if they don't get Harper, you know, I think they'll just be like it's okay. Then we save a bunch of money. We'll pay. We'll pay the guys coming up the ranks. Christopher C. Say, I don't know if that's just how you pronounce it, but when I see him on TV, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he I, maybe he might take less if if Kershaw knows that guys like Seeger. You know, there he is again, 41 out of 99. Ballinger, all those guys. Just a Harper away, maybe. Possibly. We got Jordan's brother, Justice Sheffield. This is Yankee going to Mary Lou. There he is, the man in question, Clayton Kershaw. Tyler Glass now at a 250. For the Pirates, Pirates, a few good pitchers coming up the ranks. That'll go to Mobin. DL Hall again for the O's. That'll go to Jesse. That's true, yeah, hey, I mean, no. Well, to us, $22 million is a lot. To us, twenty-two million and thirty million, you know, there's no difference. But what's the what's the percentage decrease on that? If someone said, "Hey, Gabe, you want to take a, a you know, a fifteen percent pay cut, or whatever the case is, or something like that," and you'll be like, "No way, bro! No way, I'm doing that." <laughs> Whatever the per percentage difference is, it's all relative. <laughs> Just so some other guy can make more money at your work, I'll be like, "What? So you want me to take a pay cut so I could you could pay some other guy 
that will make the whole company better, but then what do I, do I get a prize at the end of the year? No, I know, sports is different, but um, Kevin Crouch saying, yeah, I don't, yeah, you don't get rings at work. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, yeah, sports is different. There's no like, you know, $5,000 World Series ring you get, right? You don't, there's no legacy. <laughs> There's no Hall of Fame where you... Uh, Kevin Crouch saying that, hey, then again, if he doesn't take less money, do they say screw it and pay him? Or do they say screw it and go get someone else? I don't think they would get someone else. I think they pay him. Whether they like it or not, I think they kind of have to at this point. He's, Clayton Kershaw is like the Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Lakers had to pay Kobe Bryant. He even Kobe Bryant even took less money too, actually. But... Kobe Bryant had to take, did, did take less money, and Lakers still could have signed a max contract. That's a different story, but but you gotta, they kind they kind of have to. There's no way they can't. All right, next box. Good luck. There is your case hit, monochrome, Kyle Wright. That's a big one for the Braves, Darren McKenzie. I think he's a, a little bit of dust on here. He's like a top, he's fifth overall. Oh, I have my I have my draft tab still open. Kyle Wright, yeah, fifth overall. Vanderbilt, out of Vanderbilt. Who seem to produce a lot of great pitchers. 43 out of 50, Walker Bueller. Dodger, upcoming Dodger, possible rookie of the year. This is a Vanderbilt product. Matt Sig Sauer. He's going to get a gun sponsorship soon. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Mary Lou. Franklin Barreto. No, that is not numbered. Sometimes they are. There's Corey Seeger, Evan White. I mean, there really isn't a Kershaw equivalent unless you're talking about, like, yeah, Max Scherzer. Kevin Merrill. Darren McKenzie with another auto. Darren doing, doing pretty well the last few autos. Nice Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. That might, this might be something, TJ. Just leave that up for you. Top load that. Cole Reagans for the Rangers. Nino with the Rangers. Yeah, there really isn't, like, I mean, I, I know I'm, I, I'm, everyone knows I'm a Dodger fan. I, I know this is going to sound super homery, but it's true, though. There, I mean, like, you take, take regular, you take standard stats, you take advanced stats, you, take, you do eye test. You know, Clayton Kershaw, on his day, and those are most days. Like, God, dude is unstoppable. Evan White for the Mariners. Nice one for John Mortolaro. The stats are just ridiculous. Just across the course of a season to see, like, how in control he is of all of his pitches, et cetera, et cetera. Nice. Next box. I mean, people are, people are saying that Kershaw could stop his career right now. He could retire right now. And you could still make a solid case for him to get into the Hall of Fame. I think you could. You know? So all, 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 the, all the advanced metrics... Are there really? The Lakers sold eight hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars worth of Kobe jerseys as retirement game between eight and twelve. That, that sounds like marketing trickery. That would be. That's cool though. Now Joe P says Kershaw is garbage. Keep in mind that Joe P is a Arizona Diamondbacks fan, so he's going to bring up all the all the ring and playoff stuff. Now, uh, guess what? It's not like basketball, Joe P. It's not like chips don't matter as much. 
for uh, for baseball Hall of Fame. And it's not it's not like it's not like QB in like it's not like quarterbacks in in football where that stuff kind of stuff keeps them out. There are plenty of plenty of players that are in the Hall of Fame that do not necessarily have rings underneath their belts. That's not. A, I feel like the writers historically have not taken that into consideration. I'm not being biased. If anything, you're being biased, Joe P. As a Diamondbacks fan, no, I don't think I don't. That's not as big of a consideration. Like chips. Like LeBron, how many chips you got, LeBron? Kobe, how many chips you got? You know, Eli Manning, how many chips you got? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna matter as much. At least not in baseball. There's Buster Posey, twenty out of one fifty. That goes to the San Francisco baseball Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo. Yeah, it's like saying Trout. If Trout doesn't win a ring, then no, no Hall of Fame for him. That's crazy. Well, Joe P, you're saying that postseason play would keep out a player, or lack thereof, would keep a player out of the Hall of Fame. Hasn't shown what he can do in the playoffs? Well, that's not fair then. Then just say, oh, then... Then if, <laughs> if Kershaw wanted to be a Hall of Famer, he should have just gone to play with the Padres and just crush, but never make it to the playoffs. Doesn't make sense at all. Giants, another one. Colin, Oppo, Joe Mojo. No, that, I mean, I don't think, listen, Kershaw, Kershaw's postseason has, has left something to be desired, but I don't think that's going to prevent him from the Hall of Fame by the time his career is over. He'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Taylor Trammell for the Reds. But historically, baseball writers have not really taken postseason too much into account for that sort of stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, listen, these numbers aren't horrible, but they're not what I expect either. 159 out of 250, Lewis Brinson for the Brew Crew. Nino with another one. Nice parallel this time. Another Alex Verdugo for Ashley and the Dodgers. Pitcher Brandon McKay. All right, three boxes to go. So Joe P is saying, crappy postseason, bad postseason play is a factor for someone not getting into the Hall of Fame. I mean, again, I, I just don't think postseason just matters as much to baseball writers. It's a, it's, it's a fair point. But, you know, I mean, you know, relatively speaking, Kershaw's postseason, which is not bad. His postseason is not as spark, not nearly as sparkling as his as his amazing regular seasons have been. Yeah, that's an issue, especially with how good we know he pitches in the uh, in the regular season. But again, I don't think that really takes too much in, into account by the time Kershaw hangs it up. I think that'll be an issue. I think people will talk about it, but I don't think that's going to prevent prevent him this season. Or, I mean, to prevent him at the, the end of the season. Oh, I mean, if he stopped right now? Oh, I see. Oh, that, that makes sense. Well, that makes more sense. If he stopped right now, I don't think he'll be a first... I don't think he'll be a... You know, I don't think he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer if... 
I said there would be a case for him to be in the Hall of Fame if his career stopped right now. I don't think he'd get in. By the end of his career, definitely Hall of Fame. I see. We just just have to be a little more clear. Um, I get I get what you're saying though, Joe P. Um, Todd, what's going on? Yeah, Bowman's best is looking great, Todd. We'll do more of these t tomorrow, so hopefully get in if you have a chance. Quentin Holmes. Quentin Holmes for the tribe. Indians, Greg. Nolan Arenado, 64 out of 99. You want to do another case? I don't think we're. I don't think we're close enough. I think we're going to be over anyway. I'm doing a one box of Bowman. I've got like another hour of work to do, Joe P. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it. Brandon McKay. So I wonder if he has a. He must have an autograph of him pitching too, right? That'll go to Robert Rincon with the Rays. Bradley Zimmer at a 250. Robert Rincon, that was last spot mojo, too. He was the Rays' uh, fourth overall pick. He is a legit two-way player. Legit two-way player. I think this is our first redemption that we've seen. There's Aaron Judge. So behind Austin Beck... I know Joe likes this. Joe likes this guessing game here. What, D? I don't know any, I don't see any Ds in the, A. I still don't know who the, I don't, I don't know enough of my prospects. Dan, Dan, Daniel, Daniel something, Daniel Dal Lugo? Daniel Murphy. <laughs> it's a vet, I know this guy, I know Daniel. I know Daniel Murphy. Nationals, that goes to Mr. LT. Did you guess that, Joe P? I think, I think he might have before the video lag. Hmm, that's nice. All right, yeah, Murphy, Daniel Murphy, sign your cards. You guys were out of the postseason kind of early. Printing plate. Autograph. Wow. That's Chris Sale. I know that auto. Woo. Mr. LT. That's Carlos with a on-plate auto. Wow. I really don't have a big deal. I, I don't have a big problem with sticker autos, to be honest with you. It's, I'm okay with it. But I do care when... When it's on a plate, just because it just looks so haphazard. But on plate autos, I think are so sick. That is awesome. Mr. LT, Carlos, with the Red Sox. You know what that means. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Man, even Joe P's impressed. He's not easily impressed, Carlos. All right. Next up, two boxes to go. Oh, great, Max. I'm glad he did. Good. Thanks for your patience on that, man. All right. So eight autographs to go. Four in each master box. Two in each mini box. Good luck, everybody. Plenty of autos to go. So don't worry if you're being worried. Uh, TJ, who are you looking for for the Phillies? TJ has the Phillies in this one. I think you got something for the White Sox already, right? I know this guy was in it last year. I don't know if he's in it this year. Moniac. Oh, he's in it. Is he in it this year too? All right, so that guy. I use different glue on this. 
you can tell. Oh, come on. Oh, is, is Kingery, is that Scott Kingery, I think? Is he in this? I think of someone else. All right. Okay, good luck, boys and girls. I feel like I'm definitely running out of steam here, but, well, there's Mickey Moniak out of 250. No ink, but that's who TJ is looking for. That is for TJ and the Phils. There's Cody Ballinger. There's Jason Groom for the Red Sox. Another one for Carlos. There's that Aaron Judge. Set those aside too. There's Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt should have won that MVP. There's Tristan Lutz. I feel like we haven't seen Tristan Lutz as of yet. That goes to. The Brew Crew, Nino, having a nice break with the Brewers, man. Awesome. I don't think this is numbered right yet. Not numbered. There's Joe P's favorite, Luke Weaver, 7 out of 50. That card is gold. Cardinals with that one, Ashley. There's Goldschmidt again. And John Duplantier, Arthur with the Diamondbacks. I think Arthur has hit the diamond with the Diamondbacks in each break, one through four. He's finally hitting this one too. Nice. Bryce Harper to one fifty. Wow, Mackenzie Gore, third overall pick for the San Diego Padres. D-Mac with the Friars. Darren, did you buy the Padres just to get Mackenzie Gore? Darren McKenzie with Mackenzie Gore. I think so. 10 out of 50. That card is gold. All right, nice Mackenzie Gore. That is strong. All right, last box, boys and girls. Yeah, I have not seen Gabriel. I have not seen a uh, Aaron Judge autograph. Or I have not seen a Bellinger autograph. We've seen a couple. I think we've seen one uh, pitcher that TJ likes. Uh, Mitchell White, I think. Is that his name? Mitchell White. We've seen one or two of him, and then maybe two or three Alex Verdugos. But I think that's about it, Dodgers-wise. I don't remember anybody else. Certainly nothing of uh, nothing like Bellinger, Bellinger caliber. Yeah, the design of the Bowman's best, pretty pretty awesome this year. Nice upgrade from last year. Uh, Max, that is uh, that's break credit is like a gift card to the site, like money you can use on the site. So you get a little code that you can use for purchases, for future purchases on the site. Oh, I'm, I missed uh, Miss Barfing Monkeys howdy on the Breakers.tv stream. I don't know if you're still there, but hello. All right, last box, last four autographs. Good luck, everybody. Another nice case, almost in the book. So thank you very much, everyone, for getting in.
All right, good, good luck, boys and girls. Nice Anderson Espinoza for the Friars. That goes to Darren McKenzie. That is strong. Darren McKenzie. D Mac with the Anderson Espinoza. He came over in the Kimberl deal. I don't know. Padres got a lot of nice prospects from the Red Sox. Manny Margot, Anderson Espinoza are a couple of them. Haven Smith. Arthur, I think. Is that a red parallel? Man, Arthur killing in these Bowman's best breaks. This is the best he's ever done. I thought that was a red parallel, Arthur. I thought it was going to be an out of 10. But still nice. Paven Smith, your um, your seventh overall pick. First baseman, though. They may have to move him around if Goldschmidt hangs around, which I'm sure he will. Nate Pearson. Oh, right, in the transcendent spot, too. Thanks, TJ. Blue Jays with that one. Jesse. Jesse with a little something at the end. Is that some orange right there I see? Orange? Sean Newcomb, 6 out of 25. Orange parallel for the Bravos. DMAC with that one as well. Yeah, reminder is key. Reminder is key, especially if like big train whistle hits pop out towards late in the break, then I get all, I get all shook. <laughs> I'm all confused. I'm just like, oh my God, my head swimming with that big hit, that Chris Sale printing plate. That was awesome. And I get so fired up that I forget about, there's Ronnie Oraldez. I forget about the randomizer. Carlos with that one. Carlos had a nice break. And that, my friends, is that. All right, so we've got a number of things to randomize here. So we've got one, two, three, and then four for the transcendent spot. So let's get four, one, two, three, four. So the first list right here will be left and right. The second one is the atomic refractor between the Royals, and that's Moose, Endeavors, Red Sox. And then the other one, which was nice, was Marlins and Yankees. That was Stanton and Judge. Somehow tops predicting them connecting with each other. And then, of course, we've got to figure out who's going to get that transcendent spot. So in order to get to be eligible for a transcendent spot, I'm going to sort everyone's names by their first names. You have to buy at least two teams, like Allen did, and like Ashley. Carlos, who bought four teams, actually blocked people from getting a spot, which is also a smart defensive play. Darren did the same thing. Jesse got at least two. So did John. Mary Lou got three. Nino got two. And TJ got two. Nice. So that's only 10. So max entries could have been 15, but because people only bought one team or bought multiple teams, more than two teams, the entry list is only 10. This is one of the one of the best odds that I've seen. All right, so one dice roll for all the randomizers. Five and a two, lucky seven for all the lists. Good luck. Left and right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Stays with left. So there you go. So the left side will get all of these except for these ones, this mirror image card, Royals and Red Sox. Once again, five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Did that stay with the Red? I think that stayed with the Red Sox the entire time. So that goes to Boston. That'll be Mr. LT with this uh, one per case atomic refractor one. And this is an especially nice one, 27 out of 50. The gold edition of this mirror image card. Once again, seven times on the randomizer. Marlins, Yankees, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
Marlins on top. Allen with that one. My sports box where you're not in the transcendent. Random, what's, what is your name? I think I got everybody right. Yeah, I think I got everybody. Everyone who bought at least two teams in break number four get one entry into the Transcendent promo. So Alan had two. I got his name. Ashley had two. I got her name. Carlos had four. I got his. Colin got his. Darren's got one. Jesse has got one. John with one. Mary Lou with one. Nino with one. And then TJ with one spot. Yeah, I think I'm good for this break. All right. So once again, five and a two, seven times. So the name on top gets a free spot in Transcendent Baseball, the $155 edition. Seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Mary Lou on top. There you go, Mary Lou. She gets a spot in the $155 version of Transcendent Baseball on jazpiecehobbyland.com. Congrats, Mary Lou. Thanks for getting in. That was Pick Your Team 4.